I need to take another look at this framework as it has gotten a few new upgrades. Allow me to reintroduce Lavey. This is a framework for developing AI web apps and I had actually made a video on this previously but it had gotten some cool new updates such as the ability to build an agent that can basically apply to jobs for the PNG of your resume which is nuts. Its privacy was able to do menial tasks but it seems to have gotten better where it's able to not only just process regular tasks but it's able to process complex tasks. Just take a look at this demo video which will showcase this. So in this demo video, the dev has built an agent that can apply to jobs with the PNG of your resume using LaVeg's open source framework. And this resulted in their agent being able to read the resume in less than 40 seconds and fill out the form with the given information. And this way you're going to be able to apply to a mass batch of jobs and you're going to be able to have it so that your resume will be autofilling these requirements. Now the code for this has been actually updated and it's going to be something that you can access on Google Colab. So if you're interested, take a look at the link in the description below so that you can try this out. Now for the people who do not know about LaVeg, it's an open source large action model and this is a framework to develop AI web agents. The web agents take an objective such as print installation steps for a Hugging Face Diffuser library and it's able to perform the required actions to achieve this goal by leveraging two key core components. First component is a world model that takes an objective and the current state, which is also known as the current web page, and it turns this into instruction. And secondly, the component is where there's an action engine, which is going to compile these instructions into action codes. This is where it utilizes Playwright as well as Selenium to execute them. So this is something that we're going to be uncovering throughout today's video, showcasing this new complex upgrade that they have introduced. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at LaVeg. So how can you get started? Well, what you will need to do is just simply install it with the pip install command. You would just simply need to copy this and paste it into your command prompt. And after that, you will then need to build an agent and implement it using the objectives that are specified over here. Now, in their documentation, they refer to this. So they actually go further in depth and showcase how you can customize different types of content, how you can work with different large language models, different sorts of plugins, as well as other third party integration. So definitely take a look at the quick tour as well as the customizations to their docs, because this will give you a more uh, of like a detailed installation process as well as showcasing different tutorials as to how you can get started. Now I want to take another look at this automated job application example that they have developed. This is after they have basically had LaVeg in combination with the Hugging Face model. And this was to create an AI agent that was capable of automatically applying for jobs. Now this agent was able to perform optical character recognition. This is also known as OCR on a CV, which is a resume, and it fills out the job application form based off of the extracted information. This was something that they were able to showcase, which was an end-to-end -end example. They showcased all the prerequisites, such as utilizing OpenAI's API key, as well as the Hugging Face token key, so that they can utilize that model. And we can see that this was something that they were able to set up with a few lines of code. It didn't require much. The framework itself was installed using pip, and from there, you just needed to set up your open AI key, install the requirements as well as the text generation LaVeg, which was the necessary packages. And from here, they've also installed OCR with Hugging Face. And this is where they utilize Hugging Face's inference API, as well as the model to extract the information from the actual CV. So this was a model that was actually used because it's a multimodal large language model. And this was used to extract the description of the resume. 
and this is where they've also developed the code to display and process the images so what they've done after is that they've implemented the ai web agent which was built using levake and they use their world model which takes the user objective as well as the current web page state to generate those instructions they also used the second component which was the action engine and they turned those instructions into the code and they executed it by having it so that the extracted information was then sent to that web form and it was able to then define and run that agent and by following all these different processes you can see that in the notebook it will illustrate how you can actually create a fully functional ai agent that can apply for jobs or not necessarily just apply for jobs but execute various sorts of tasks on the web now there's multiple other web agents that have been developed with lavec for example you're able to utilize knowledge retrieval where you can navigate through notion now in this case you can replace it with other sorts of things such as having it so that it can scrape through websites you can have it scrape through powerpoints as well as different file types on the web obviously and this is where we're going to be able to develop this by utilizing the code that they have developed already you also have data entry where it's going to be able to fill out forms and this would be something that was really useful where you can have it so that you can extract information from invoices and then have it so that it can automatically then paste it into a type form or any sort of form where you're collecting large amounts of data now this is the notion example that i was talking about where you can code an ai web agent that can navigate and retrieve information from any workspace in this case it's doing notion and it's just in eight lines of code using lavake it also utilizes openai gpt4 omni model which is the new model from openai and in this case it basically created a fictional notion workspace and it was able to contain hr information from it so this is where the ai agent was able to explore the environments and it retrieved all the answers that were basically related to the hr and it nested it within two pages this was something that was done automatically and it was done with just a few lines of code and utilizing the framework itself another cool thing that they're working on is data collection because they're going to be trying to build their own data set that could be used by the ai community obviously but also to build a better large action model and this is going to be used for better web agents they're going to be utilizing all these different data sources so that they can create this data collection or sorry this data set for their data collection update now this is something that I'm looking forward to because this would be something that is quite interesting as to how they're creating this large action model that's going to be used for web agent. And from just a couple of months, they have done a great job where first it was able to just browse through different pages and collect information to having it so that it can ex execute complex tasks. So it's great to see that the development that's being made by this framework and that's about it for today's video i'm going to leave all the links as to what i use in today's video in the description below this was a great little small update on levec i definitely recommend that you try it out and see how it is for yourself if you are interested definitely take a look at the links in the description below make sure you follow me on the patreon page so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free we have a private discord here where you can basically interact with a lot of other people developers as well as get insights on ai Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.